One observer said it was like a scene from the early 1960s, robed and hooded Klansmen armed with clubs waiting for a group of black demonstrators. The march was held to voice support for Tommy Lee Hines, a 27-year-old retarded black man convicted of raping a white woman last October. Everything started out peacefully enough, but when the marchers reached the city limits of Decatur, something erupted. The Klansmen overpowered the marchers' police escort, and a massive fist fight ensued. At least 20 bullets were fired, and five people, two Klansmen and three marchers, were wounded. Three people were arrested. Dr. Joseph Lowry, president of the Southern Christian Leadership Conference, was the organizer of yesterday's march. He was carried to safety, but his wife, who was sitting behind the wheel of their car, just barely escaped. One bullet shattered the windshield, missing her by inches. Another grazed the door jam. If she hadn't ducked on the floor of the car, Lowry says, she probably would have been killed. I think this nation has to come to grips with the fact that we are facing a new wave of racial hostility and hatred. Why do you think that is? Is it uh, an economic factor? Do you think that might enter into it? Well, I think there are several factors. I think that racism has been and continues to be a very potent factor in relationships in this country. And I agree that the economic crisis, while it doesn't create racism, it does lift to the surface the hostility that's already there. When people are frustrated in their own personal economic situations, they tend to strike out at those least able to defend themselves. Lowry uh, says the Ku Klux Klan has been growing in popularity I lately, and he claims robed Klansmen have been terrorizing parts of Alabama and Mississippi for months now. The Klansmen, on the other hand, claim it was the marchers, not they, who started yesterday's violence. Another march, just like the one yesterday, is planned in Decatur, Alabama, two weeks from now, and Lowry says he's afraid the same thing will happen all over again. B.B. Emmerman, Action News.